giving you real talk, so stay on your grind. We just trying to laugh and have a good time. We dropping them juice so that all our people can shine. Views from the friend zone, it's your time. We giving you real talk, so stay on your grind. We just trying to laugh and have a good time. We dropping them juice so that all our people can shine. Southside's real heavy in the building. Farmer, yeah. Heavy, yeah. heavy. Yeah. 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 Anyway, it, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, you know, uh, like always, man, we're going to have everybody introduce themselves. I hope everybody out there enjoying this, this beautiful Sunday, man. It just, it went, uh, I seen a joke like, yo, the weather went from 90 to 55. Like, it's saw a state trooper. You know what I'm saying? Like, how you slow <laughs> down. Because it just got brick hoodies and everything. You know what I'm saying? But it's your boy, Real Talk Mall. It's your boy Open Shirt Poppy, what up? Hi, it's your girl Bella from Epic Gift. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, this is family. We all grew up in the hood, you know what I'm saying? So, we, you know, we want to give them a, a, a chance to uh, discuss what they got going on. We usually do ladies first, but Jasmine's been on the show before, so we're going to have Dave go first. Let them know what you got going on, how they can reach you, your socials and all that. Discuss real quick any uh, any recent projects you dropped, any videos, anything you dropped. It's a lot of nice visuals in the in the Molly video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Pimpin is it Mac? Oh, he's a Mac. And, and, and what was the other video? The other video is called Beamer. I like that. I, I like Molly too, but Beamer's, I, I don't know, because maybe I'm more gritty and stuff like I'm a little, so, I, Beamer's really hit me. I do drop a Beamer, but you know, but that, that, that wasn't why I like the Beamer. I like the Beamer because of like, you know, the, the, the hood the hood aspect of it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm, 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 I'm like uh, Young Jeezy, them corporate thugs. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm a corporate dude, but that thug stuff never leaves. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, drop it independently. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you, man. I. It is. It's. It's beautiful to do independent things. You know. Entrepreneur is, is the way to go. You see how Kanye losing his mind, Crazy. saying Jay Z sold his, you know, sold his masters to get out of his situation. Mm-hmm. Kanye, Kanye got a billion and change, and he's still bitching about it because he know how long his his music's gonna be around, and that's a lot of money he's not seeing. Right. You know what I'm saying? A billion's gonna be stupid. Yeah, you gotta know your worth in this type of stuff. Man. Exactly, exactly. So, so you know, so now we're gonna go to Jasmine. You know what I'm saying? Introduce you and stuff. You got the shirt going on and everything. Let them know what Actually, you got going on. Actually, this is my original shirt. The first Epic Gay shirt I ever got. Okay. So because it was coming on, I was like, ah, nostalgia. Nostalgia, uh, yes. Know, because, uh, well, I own Epic Gay. Yes. You know, one through seven, dash four through Bad Boy Boulevard. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, we service kids age three to actually now we support it to Joe. Shout out to Rebel Four. Four is up. They know what it is. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> um, you know, right now I'm in the midst of remounting my bitch. Yes. You know, and then also they're um putting together a Black Lives Matter live stream show. Yes. So we had to figure out the new normal for dancing, yes. right? Yes. To my knowledge, all other dancers have figured it out. Take it here. Yes, so yes. Okay. please tune in. And, and Jasmine is a wonderful businesswoman. She has a, a journey. She has a story on how she survived COVID. I'm not going to, you know, you don't have to give all your details and stuff like that, but just let them know how you survived the grind real quick with, with everything going on. Well, I think, honestly, one of the biggest things that kept me going were my kids. Right. Yes. Um, dance is a passion. It's not just for the money. It's yeah. never actually been about the money. Yeah. So one of the first things when Uncle 
polo because of my baby for my birthday. <laughs> that was yo. He's like my uncle. Mm-hmm. The blonde it was like the step child. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. But we'll talk about that. You know. Yeah. But um, you know, I, the first thing I did was I kept the classes going. We jumped onto Zoom. My staff worked for free. They were just in it to win it, and we did that for a month. And that was the thing, like seeing my kids, like he tune in every week and just grow, even get better on Zoom. Yeah. That was what I needed. Yeah. And that was enough because a lot of people kind of just left me alone. Yeah. You know? They leave you the dead once, you know, mm-hmm. once it's just like, oh, it's kind of difficult. Oh, it's not that, you know, yeah. the grind really yeah. starts. That's when you see people scatter like roaches. You know what I'm saying? When it's easy, it's easy to just align yourself to it. But when right. it starts to get slowed down, that's when people scatter. Mm-hmm. I mean, for me, I had like a handful of parents that like kept up with me, but I was really like a lone ranger. Even like right now, it's still close. Yeah. You know, just but I grinded every day. So my kids went to the classes like in the afternoon and evening, mm-hmm. nine a.m. to whenever the classes started. On the computer, PPP. Yeah. With PUA grant, I I applied for like twenty grants and got one. Those who don't know, PPP is a payroll protection plan that you know the government put out to help you know businesses. They did it wrong, right? Because it was supposed to be for small businesses originally, but then the Lakers got money, Shake Shack got money, <laughs> billion billionaire corporations yeah, got money. Yeah. You know too. what I'm saying? Beca- and you know what? Every, everybody uh, always knows it. that it, I, I sound anti-Trump, but you know, Trump let it be released that way, so a lot of his friends got helped out Benefit. first. Yeah. And then it was just like, oh, no, this is for small businesses. And then when people started getting shamed, then some of the big businesses like, oh, okay, you can, you can take the money back, mm-hmm. shake shack, and, oh, we don't need the money kind of stuff like that. But in the beginning, all the big dogs, right, because the big dogs had the accountants and the finance people to put that paperwork first. Mm-hmm. Small businesses got to figure it out. So all the big businesses put the money in, they got the money out, the well ran dry, and it was supposed to help small businesses stay open, and they, there was no money left. Yeah. You know, then when they refunded, I got denied because I did the application wrong. That application had me questioning my whole life, career, yeah. everything. Because I was like, yo, this shit is hard. Yo, even regular unemployment give people a struggle and stuff. Some, you know what I'm saying? And unemployment supposed to be simplistic. But a lot of people struggle with filling out their unemployment, getting rejected and stuff like that. So I could just imagine doing it for a business is even more detailed. I was working. That's why that's why it's more than just your talent as far as you're trying to advance your business team. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You handle your business team. So kudos to that. Let them know, you know, how how you're discussing your efficiency and making your, your, your place safe is what made you stand out in the marketplace. Okay. And shout out, shout out to landlords who understood the long picture. Yo, Some people were grimy you, during these times. Exactly. Yeah. 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 No, my landlord, he did the best. He definitely did the best. So that was the best thing I could do. And then every day, one of the things that I just kept doing is watching my promo and all the little group things. Like the promo should be the next president for 2024. Yeah, but there's a reason why he doesn't want to do it. He knows too much. He knows too much. He used to work in the White House. He knows too much. There's a reason why he doesn't want to do it. And as you can see from Trump, Trump doesn't have power. President 
president or he was just a state? Like the state. Trump became president to help his people out. Right. You know what I'm saying? He knows that it's the end game after he leaves office. All the things he put in place, all the breaks and stuff like that, getting his family different deals and things of that nature. Because you know how much they pay a president a year? $250,000. Right, nothing. It's tax free, but still, for Trump, Trump Trump burns that one time golfing with his friends on drinks and and, and women. You know what I'm saying? He don't have the focus. He don't have the focus. He's worrying about tweeting what somebody else is doing and and, and saying that, oh, I've done more for black people. All this craziness. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, I don't want to turn it too political, but yes, yes. (laughs) So, I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt. Yeah. I'll be at home. Wa- me and my wife used to watch those things like there were concerts coming no, on every real. day. My and then we live in so Jersey. Funny. Jersey, Phil Murphy's our governor. And then he would do his joint. And it was just like, boo. Because he didn't have that pizzazz that Cuomo had. But go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Cuomo is crazy with the people. Yes, yes, so yes. So I started just hitting up all the same places that I go. So, yeah. like, the ACA, the DPP, the Zach Cat. Yeah. Like, um, the Merck goes to the Jeffrey Zach Cat. Zach Cat. Yeah. You know, Everything in the back of Boardman. Um, have it, I even hired a, a mental base and at the door, take your temperature, take a sizzle finger, to do all these same same conversations in the front with his hand. See, that's a small right. business ex- a- operating on greatness. How, how many big times we go into big ass Walmarts and places like that, and they don't know what they got going on and stuff like that, and they're a billion dollar corporation, so salute to them. Yeah, like for me, I just wanted, I was like, if they say it works, no, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It would have been too late. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You know, so everything they said, and then there's some other things I bring up that I say that work. You yeah. know, like I'm cool with certain things, but if they say it works and it's helpful, and then also I took a step back, I cleared out the whole Twitter space and I started just saying it. Threw everything away, I started just like, I was like, how can I make my space say what I say? Started there, had a COVID expert come in, they did a thing on that high note to plus my own ego. Yeah. So everything he said to me, and he started in the back of the room, Chase Knox, make this audience, this audience, this audience. We started when he did the Chicago Bulls. So I did that combined with the Wine Week Coach, and that's why. I told you, like, I had a whole uh, COVID Zoom meeting a couple of weeks ago. I got off the Zoom, I had 20 kids on my Zoom. Mm. Gave me a two way speech to kids. They want their kids to have sex with their kids. Yeah. They just want to know that you care about the kids like they care about the kids. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like I think that was even the first um, step one that we took to mm-hmm. make sure that we could get the people to be able to talk to each other. Mm-hmm. And we did see a, a, a surge in traffic in the city of Detroit. That's why many of those are in there. Yeah. Yeah. So we can make sure that we get the right people to talk to each other. And that's what we do it for now. Right. Yeah. That's one yeah. of the most difficult things and it's impressive that you went two steps, right? Because even our workplaces and schools and these big institutions, they don't seem to have a game plan. And yeah, you as a business owner. Yeah. Just experts and money and, and resources. Right. Like, trust me, like anybody thinking that they can do it on their own, yeah. I can do it. Y'all can do it. It's not it has to it's it's not about the money, it's just about people skills. Yeah. You know, like you talk to other people who are going through it. It's crazy, right? Because, like you said, there was a rush to open, and then a lot of steps wasn't given. And then even Trump was like, "Yeah, I knew it was kind of dangerous, but I wanted to downplay it." You know what I'm saying? Like, but even within the fact that the White House didn't even have the right information, they had the right information. Right. Right. I mean, we can't do any more than that. Yeah. Right. You know, like yeah. I mean, we don't even need to do that. <laughs> that kind of vitamin C speech. Just because yeah. you get sick with it. Some someone tried to send r- rice in. To the White House the I other day, and they caught it. I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> <laughs> now they want to be focused, right? They was they they was lollygagging before. Now they, nah, let me stop before. Yeah, they come opening the door. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
I think starting today, you can't download it. If you don't already have it, if you don't already have it, you can't download yeah, it. Are they trying to get rid of it from the country? I don't know yet. The first step was no new downloads starting today, which is crazy. Then they're not going to allow any upgrades. That's when it causes problems. Because yeah. if you because can't upgrade. Exactly, because once it, like iPhone gets upgraded to um, 14, once you do that, these apps have to go back and upgrade to that. But when TikTok can't upgrade, it's not even going to work on your phone. You know what I'm saying? So that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. So it's more so I think TikTok yeah. is more so like the premium subscribe service that you have to pay for. Like it's more it's more of a sort of it's a form of protection. Like it's not I mean that's that's, that's gonna be the first time I get arrested. Like that's gonna be the first time I get arrested. <laughs> That's what they say. It's gonna be mandatory to take the test. Don't take the test and find out. I'm saying it is this. If you don't take it, if you do it now, the world might be wide open to a new society that you don't know about. Yeah. So it's more of a Honestly, taking the test, I don't have an issue with that. No, not taking the test. No, taking the vaccine. Vaccine. Oh hell no. No, no, no. They cannot. Y'all awakening. Peace and blessings, family. That's why you got to step up on it. So, yeah, I heard about that. That's going to be the first time I get arrested in my life. I've never yeah, been arrested. No, they have to give you options. Even this job that I worked before where it was mandatory to get certain tests, like uh, certain shots, like if you're getting health care, you had to get a, like a PPD or a tetanus, something yeah, like that. Yeah. Or, and then it, it was also like the flu. Either you get the flu shot or you have to wear a mask yeah. all the time when you work. But they gave you an option. You have the option. At, when I, military wise, you don't have an option. So I'm about to be I, I done with the military with anyway. I took the flu, but I'm shot, not I took doing the the flu shot one time in my life, I like five, and I was. That's the only time I ever I got, got sick, like a I'm long sorry, sentence. I took the flu shot and literally a week later I was. In you know, because a lot of these vaccines yeah, some are people bi- viral, react so they're bad hoping that antibodies off the yeah. virus to mm-hmm. build up your immune system. Yep. You're not taking COVID in my body no, to no. protect me from COVID. It doesn't yeah, make good. sense. I'm good on that. All right, so we before we start our, you know, regular show, we're going to just talk about a couple of t- hot topics. The ratchetness. Ratch- ratchetness, <laughs> current events, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. you know, the Cardi B offset thing, we're gonna that's gonna be the last of the hot topics because it kinda leads into relationships. We got relationships that show, we'll talk about that. So let's just start with like some wild stuff that happened, right? So this is a uh, crazy shit that happened in other parts of the country. <laughs> right? Florida. Florida. I, <laughs> everyone know how crazy Florida is. Florida Breakfast clubs talk about it, but if you just know Florida's crazy, so a man shot his doctor. Because he gave him a prostate exam that made him come. Bang, bang. He went back, got the gun, and shot his doctor because he did that. Double shot. Shot him in the chest, right? So if anybody, I mean, obviously we're all adults and people know a prostate exam, they have to go in your butt, touch, them. touch your prostate. That's the only way they can access it. And, you know, they put two fingers there. I actually, yeah, 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 I actually, I'm there's a joke yeah, about that. It's not one. It has I, two. I've actually had, there's a joke I've about actually that. had two prostate exams, even though I'm younger. You liked it the first time? You went back no, for no, a second? No. <laughs> Let me get a second opinion. Well, well, nah, full disclosure, when, when you're trying to have a baby and they're trying to test to see everything, you know, make sure everything was good with the wife, everything was man, they'll, they'll, they'll check your prostate to see if there's any blockage preventing mm-hmm. you from listening, stuff like that. So me and my wife, we went to specialist twice, and both times, you know, after they do sperm tests and all that, I know I'm, et cetera, et cetera. Prostate exams is one of those things. Mm. So um, mm. it's very uncomfortable, and then the doctors, especially when the, like, I'm a guy with size, so the doctor said, look, this is what I'm trying to do. Because he didn't want me to react like snuff him, right? Because you don't know I how a black guy's going to react to that kind of stuff. That's so so he, he said, he said, he said, I, he said, I don't like this either, brother. That's what he said. Words and words and everything I love. But anyway, I don't like how do you either. guys feel about that, you know, a guy <laughs> shooting his doctor because the doctor made him come from a prostate exam? Let me add one more caveat before you answer. 
Because uh, that was a funny thing. I was listening to Breakfast Club and Dr. Oz was on it. Yeah. And, and this is what he said that I did not know. Because I always, I've always heard the joke that the man's G spot is in his prostate, and that's why you know men don't really feel it, sex the way that women can because of where you know the clitoris being the woman's mm -hmm. high sensitive area. The equivalent of the sensitivity of the clitoris is in our prostate area as men. But the majority of us, let me not say the majority of us, <laughs> most of us men who are heterosexual never had that kind of engagement, so we no never feel that kind of thing. That's a lie. Maybe. Hold on, before we continue. I know there's some dudes about, who oh, like oh, that oh, stuff, oh, but oh, okay, oh, go ahead. Any of my epic children, pass this phone, pass it to your parents and get off now. All right? Because I don't want them listening to what I'm about to say, yes? So, I actually know men that like clitoral stimulation. I've never dated a guy not clitoral, um, prostate stimulation, yeah, right? Yeah. But I have friends that I've like, heard it. I've heard it before. To me, my... Heterosexual men. Heterosexual. Married, they like, want their wife or their girls to do that. My thing about it is... I, I I'm I'm a firm I'm a firm believer of anything done between a man and a woman, husband, wife, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, shouldn't be considered, you know, homosexual activity. But I feel certain things are weird. Like if you want your if you want your wife to peg you, what pegging is is when a woman takes a dildo mm -hmm. and f's you. You know what I'm saying? Strap Even on and stuff like that. Weird too. Like... To me, it's just like yo. My G, you can lie to yourself and say, oh, it just feels good, but, like, you thinking about something else to me. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, you, you, it comes with the territory. Yeah. But, <laughs> but what, do you, what do you think about the guy who, who, who sh like, what do you think about I, him? I, I think the fact that he came and he, 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 he's not, but he wasn't educated about the whole situation. So that's what, that's what happened to him, right? He felt like, hold on. Did this guy? He probably felt like he got raped. Right. Yeah. That's you what know, I was thinking. Because he, he's not educated about yeah. it. If he would have, if he, if he yes, would have actually looked up what exactly was going to happen before he came to the doctor or the doctor. Exactly. Explained. He no, but they explained. They explained it. Explain. Explain. Let, let me ask you, because you you probably the only one out of us who received that. How does how does it go? Now you make now you make it real. You see how he got it? He got it. You went through it. I just want to hold on. I want to know how because this is important on like you said in the hospital. Yeah, I want to know how because this is important on like you said he may not have been educated, but what's the process? Is it like? He's just going in there and reaching around. Is it like a throbbing situation? So, <laughs> I don't know. It's How does it go? No, 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 no. no but real talk. I think, I think that right. the guy wasn't educated. Even though they explained it, just, just because somebody explained it to you, don't mean you comprehend. But it, wait, right? hold on. So, what they explain huh? it to you? Listen, I don't want to do it. Let's just get no, it over. But, but what I'm but, saying is, sometimes. Sometimes you get the information, don't mean somebody, a doctor, you come in and tell you whatever, don't mean you comprehend what he's saying. You're yeah. just like, all right, go through it. And then when he went through the exam, I was like, hold on, did this guy just rape me? Yeah. I don't mean, you know, there, there's, so a, fam there's a family guy episode like that where Peter thought the doctor raped him so, because oh, of that. But let me, let, me tell, let me tell you, let me tell you why I think he reacted the way that he reacted, right? A prostate exam is not this long. 20 minutes, just like that. They're oh, literally, yeah, they're happy. literally there for like 30 seconds to, to a minute, right? Sure. They're looking to see if anything blockage, if, if, you're, if oh, anything they, they swollen. No, no, they use their fingers, but they're just, they're feeling to see if anything swollen, any blockage and stuff like that. This is what I think happened to him. Because it's short. It's not like this long exam. I think not only did he come, but he moaned. And I think once he <laughs> moaned, he said, oh, crap. I wasn't there. I think oh that's what happened. God. For hey, me, Mikey, he likes it. <laughs> for me, it was just, it was such an uncomfortable situation for me, yeah, because right. you bent over. I'm a you big dude. You have to get really comfortable to come. Yeah, like you gotta right. be relaxed. Can you, can you, I want to ask a guy question and don't lie. Yeah. When y'all entertain yourselves, uh huh. When y'all do y'all moan? Do y'all make a noise or y'all just? Like I don't. What do y'all? What do y'all do? I don't. I don't moan when I masturbate. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's, it's just. Yeah. 
You just like, I just want to rub one out. You yeah, know, yeah, I, uh, trying to get it done real good. You waiting you for the right scene? You're going to the right scene. The right scene, yeah. right situation you like? Yeah. You're going to play it back to me. You're just going to work. It, Women, bro, they get into it Girl, more when they... Like premeditated murder, <laughs> baby. I could be at the it's store called like, beat the meat. I get home, I'm looking for my scene in the store. Like, as soon as I get home... It's not called right. make love to the meat. Yeah. It's called beat the meat. But I think what happened with that situation, just from my opinion, is... He wasn't educated about, like I said, sometimes you get the information and you don't understand what somebody's telling you. So when the exam went down, after he probably was like, yo, this guy raped me. How and common? He, my GK. came. How common is that? And he moaned. But how, the moan is how what common? killed him, B. I'm how common? You, it was the moan. How common do men come from that control. exam? How Dr. How Dr. That? Oz said that it's it's common that it's it's not no, as it's uncommon not. as you think it is, right? right? Okay. But my thing about it is, and like I said, I... I had two different ones, two different doctors. No. I didn't like his but, bill. But, let but, 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 but let me tell you, let me tell you one thing. I want to make clear before we we, we go, Sorry. not to be too serious. Mm -hmm. We're all black men in our thirties in this room. The next decade we hit in our forties and stuff like that, we have to get that done mm -hmm. once a year. Especially if there's a history in the family. Because Definitely. we got we got to destigmatize that because if if we make it seem like yo you gay for getting a prostate exam it's gonna be men who get prostate cancer mm -hmm. or, or feel certain things like yo I don't want to get tested for that yeah. you know what I'm saying so we got to be careful about yeah, that I just, I just think there has to be a better way to test all these instruments and stuff they have for this test you still using your two fingers yeah. that's the best way you could test. <laughs> When, when you go to the when you no because example, no when you go to a the, machine uh, right a machine is gonna take a picture but it's not going to tell you what the feel of the a surface is. Does six finger exams. Yeah. They don't just do six pack exam. They do other types of exams yeah. too. And I just wanted to say something. I agree with what you said. If they might have felt rape because there are rape victims that actually orgasm and they have a sense of like. Oh my God, I enjoyed it, but I'm. Or, 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 or if you got wet, if you got wet during rape. And there's oh. that's the history, and so yeah. they, the victims actually end up feeling yeah. like, wait, ma it. was it really rape? Or like, because they had a, rea a natural body reaction to yeah. it. So I definitely want to bring that point up too. Because he might have felt rape. I think he was just ignorant. He knew he signed up for it. He knew that. He I never knew that that was a Every man knows that's just the day yeah. that it's a term. Yeah. Then you have to go back and pop him. As you get older, he could have punched him in the face. That's true. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? <laughs> no, but he felt that way. I mean, that's not right either, but you yeah. knew he knew what he signed up for, and it was just now, to get the job done. Me playing devil's advocate, if the doc, another thing that could have happened, because I know he could have been happy, the moon, but the thing is, the doctor could have laughed at him yeah, he when he came. Yeah, and that's I, I, that I probably could have been like, uh, like, it's okay. It's you know what I'm saying? It's okay. Not you know? it on my shoes tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, 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 like, Not my petty moves. I, 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 I think he wasn't educated about the whole mm -hmm. test situation. But he should have just slapped the shit out of him after, you know. Yeah, but, know but but the doctor was just doing his, his job. job. Saying, like, he felt, that he way, felt he, violated, you know, right? He died. Dude. Huh? He died. Nah, he didn't die. I think the doctor survived. Yeah. Oh, okay. But you yeah. know what's so annoying? Like prostate cancer for men, that is a real thing, and mm -hmm. I don't. I hate that the media feels like they have to report everything because that's actually going to deter black Man. men who already have an issue going to the. They're doctor, gonna be like, no homo, I'm not taking like no that. prostate exam. You know what I'm right. saying? Look, we men, black guys are not even eating hot dogs. They call them glizzy. Glizzy. Like, I do a barbecue for my dance school kids. Yeah. I let them write boy nigga. They always like no glizzies. I saved all this oh money because I didn't have to buy hot dogs. Yeah. Like, this is stupid. The it's crazy. The homophobia is out of control. You didn't hear about it? Get the Travis Scott burger. It's out of control. The homophobia is out of control. All right, so we're gonna, another topic we're going to talk about is the NBA in the right. bubble. A basketball player named Daniel House got kicked out of the <laughs> bubble because <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's a he's No, listen, he's, he's a married... Thinking. He's a married oh, I man. Didn't know that. He's married, hey, and know one that. of the uh, the COVID test takers he invited back into the, his room. She's clean. She spent three hours there. She the safest one. How can you be mad? But so, uh, and now his wife is leaving him because That's a whole because of it, right? Three hours. <laughs> so so, what do you fired, think about though? that? What do you think about that? Did he get fired? He didn't get fired. He didn't play one of the games or two of the games. Yeah, they, they kicked out of the I don't game. think you should be telling adults what to do with their lives. 
if he want to invite a girl up, Unless it was in their yeah, contract. Yeah, what, what did he violate? Like, he not, violated the, uh, the bubble they, room. They're not supposed the to have room. no guests. Oh, oh, bubble room guests. You know but she's technically not a guest. She's an employee within the bubble. But what if they have yeah. no fraternizing room? You don't know what yeah, they have. Yeah, if they had no fraternizing, if, that's different. He needs to go if through. we're in the he bubble, we're the all protocols, good. He violated the protocols. The COVID protocols as far as, like, you know, having people yeah. who are not essential to your basketball operations in your room. Uh, yeah. This was before. But you got to stand. As of as of uh, f uh, yesterday, they've been in the bubble for seventy seven days. Yeah, Some with with, with well, no women. And stuff. These are millionaires yeah, who's used to flying to, fly to different head. cities, getting, getting their stuff off. I mean, but it, let's, let's, like, it was a setup yeah, to me. I mean, you yeah, know, the Lakers the Lakers right? sent her to his room. <laughs> I don't even think they needed to, but that was. And he was so playing good. He was playing good before that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Ex exactly. And whatever, like, <laughs> <laughs> Another reason why that was an issue is, right? Because the people in the bubble, like uh, NBA players and stuff, uh, essential people, the they, they stay in the bubble 24-7. These outside people, going get, they're going in and out. You know what I'm okay. saying? So that's why it kind of violated that. How do they know? How did they, how did they even get somebody snitched. Remember, they had a hotline. Somebody the NBA had a hotline to snitch when you seen somebody, somebody doing things wrong. But it's, somebody it's, snitched it's, it's a selfish act because the even world. that, that, that um, female you're bringing in, right? You don't know where she's been at, right. who she's been around, the behavior of it. And think about it. You talk, you're not talking about, you talking about at the lowest point. Bro. The lowest paid per person in the NBA is getting doctor money. You can't, you Bro. can't, you can't wait, you can't you wait can't. three months without pussy. You can't, on, you can't say, you can't Come say on, it's a God, selfish dude. act it's on that man. Act. First of all, Paul, uh, 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 George Paul, Paul George, whatever you want to call him, yeah. he was going it's through it right. mentally, right? Yeah. He said he was having struggles with depression and everything like that. You don't think him not getting his regular sample was a part of that? You know what, what I'm saying? What this guy, he might have had some issues mentally. What he I'm, needed to get I'm his rocks off to continue to... We going through a pandemic. This is a lifetime situation. We don't know. We don't know where this female's been at. She could have been at in Atlanta or all these. Parties. I'm assuming she, she was know. in the bubble, so you she was good. Know. What I'm saying is, right? You don't back, know. You she contaminated she's, the whole bubble. Yeah, this, this is. How's she, that? She comes there every day. She's one of the medical personnel. There. Not to his room. Yeah. <laughs> so let me. Jasmine, as the only woman on the panel, as his wife. Are you leaving him because of this? Yes, and I'm, I'm going to tell you why. Remember, he's an NBA one, player. Yeah, but he's low level, like a doctor. I can just give me a doctor, <laughs> oh, okay? okay? Like, level. And then also, I make doctor oh, money, too, when my business is flourishing. So I'm not really phased by stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, so the money influences your decision when it comes to leaving him. You're That's what you're saying. All, do, all right, you're my husband. You're cheating. That's a thing. Okay. Then you're cheating. And you're if you're married your, to an NBA player, if you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? Player, like. No, any I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you signed up. I have a lot of I have a lot of different views on even cheating, yeah. but especially but a man that's soft enough to get caught, you definitely have an issue. Yeah, that means like if you don't want to get caught, you're gonna take every parameter to make yeah. sure you don't get yeah, caught. Yeah. Yeah. So once you got caught, that lets me know you don't even care to even hide from me. Yeah. Let's be real. I'm single. I'm 36. I'm telling you what it is. Yeah. Right? You can cheat. I may stay with you. I may not. But if you did, I'd rather go snooping versus you getting sloppy and me yeah. finding out like. Right I mean, my G, you in the bubble. You, you know they watching your every move. So, but, but LeBron don't get caught. Kawhi don't get caught. But Daniel House, like you not on that level to even kind of take that kind of risk, bro. You had, three, you had six good games in the bubble, and now you're getting crazy. With you know what I'm saying? I, I don't, I don't prove of it. Also, the too, guy's a selfish because bastard. Because he's low level, right? What if this? Take this thought. What if if it was because he's low level, he see the top guys and he just want to fit in. Like, that still exists. People, that attention, wanting attention and fitting in, it doesn't die when, you're, when no, you grow up. He a thought, lot of people he thought, do stupid stuff like he that. He thought they was not going to pay attention to him, and he was just going to get away they with it. They created a bubble. What was it's he a, thinking? It's a, it's a selfish act. Right? It's, it's what men do. Men that's not, it's that right. don't it's really the love their wives Listen, unconditionally. You don't know yeah. where. They, they don't care. Hold now, on, hold on. Right there. I don't want to speak on the dead. 
much love to my boy the Mamba, but let's not forget his little situation in Colorado. Yeah, that's different. You know what I'm saying? That's different. But he cleaned up his act after that. You ain't seen. Yeah, yeah, after that he cleaned up his act. He was young and he spent ten million dollars on that ring too. No, hold on. He was young, very young. That's how he came in the NBA. And then number two, he married young too. He wasn't ready. Okay, but I mean, he was married when he did it. No, it doesn't. I'm not giving him. And he did it wrong. He chose the wrong one. Who was supposed to pick Brandy? No, nah, he was supposed to choose somebody who, who? knew to be discreet. Who, uh, from what oh, I hear, she didn't. She didn't even look that good. No, 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 what I think it was. It goes off of what Jazz said. He's seen how everybody else is living. Shaq living good, doing what he do. So he wanted to be a part of that. When he got caught, to me, he realized he was losing more than he was gaining. Yeah. Let me, let me answer that question. Let me finish answering that question. Are they gonna keep him on the team? What you think? I, I think they will. But I think, to be honest with you. Cheating is not really a rich man's game. It's not. It's a poor man's once game. Married, it is. Once you get married, it's not The real rich guys are actually cheating is a cheating is a poor man's game. It's not a rich man's game. I think in the rich with the rich man, it's a given. Cheating is a distraction. It's a I given. It's a distraction, and that's you, know you got to think about it. You, you got to think about it. Even if you're in the greatest shape in the world and stuff like that, you you might meet a bad joint and y'all have a good hour session. And that hour session could cost you two hundred and fifty. Listen, right. look at look at Jeff Bezos. Look at the Amazon dude. He gave her that him cheat billion to go away. Think about that. Think, think, about, care. think about that. He don't care. Him cheating with that that joint cost him forty four billion dollars. Even though the Let money me tell ain't something. nothing to him. He's a much happier man right now. He He's a much happier man right now. Him cheating was just a sign of saying, I don't want to be in this with you. Yeah, I'm gonna keep you around. I still I love you. I, I you. still love you, and and you my wife. It's my way but my I want to do this. I'm a wealthy, powerful man. I feel like I can do whatever I want. All right, so let me tell you this. Get we're whatever civilized. Uh -huh. As humans, Some of we're us. civilized, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I don't see a, a a female cat or a female lion smacking a male lion up because he went and slept with a sister or whatever. Yeah, to me, monogamy, <laughs> monogamy is it's a, is a control we're game. Animal. Wait, we civilized, but we animals yeah, at the same time. It's meant for us to but at the, but about, at the about same token, the these, are words, these are I, words, these are words of believe, a Mac, all right? No, Remember, I do believe in monogamy different. is a control <laughs> game, and it's not necessarily natural to us, but at the same token, the only reason why I got to keep it 100% is, men, we don't handle getting cheated on well. We don't. It's not, at no. all. Really don't. Don't. not at all. Y'all really don't. Not at all. Women, you we mate, eat like guys. We'll forgive you. Men, y'all make don't. us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, go through. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I've never yeah. actually cheated on any man that I actually really did. You know yeah. what I'm saying? With or without a title. I'm a one. Because like, I'm too busy. I don't have time to be juggling all these stupid stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. But Cheating takes time. Yeah, it does. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Too much work. <laughs> but I will say, back to that other point, cheating is a distraction. Right? Yeah. You're supposed to be in the NBA getting your paper. Yeah. Another thing, too, she's a COVID tester. She should have been the first person like, nah, this is not good. She looks fucking dirty. Yeah. yeah. You, you got to say, she, she looks She's crazy. around millionaires. Uh, she's yeah. around millionaires. How much you think they're paying a COVID tester? <laughs> she probably, if we, if she's lucky, she's lucky, she's, lucky, she's, lucky, she's, lucky, she's making twenty dollars an hour, and she's lucky, right? You know what I'm saying? Because nah, they 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 no, 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 no. You, you He's thinking a of a doctor worker. and stuff like that? A this a is like a CNA. This is like a CNA person this doing a swab kind of stuff like that. You know what I mean? But I mean, the fact that they're dealing with the um a high level like the NBA, they probably they probably make like fifty dollars. Okay, no. if, even if that, she's now surrounded by millionaires. Let me tell you something. Even, Listen, she wanna, even with my business, right, I make sure that I'm careful because I would feel so bad if I got it, expose my kids to it, they brought it home, one of their grandparents died. Like, you have to think. It's, this pandemic is really not shot. about really? individuals. You are forced to think about the people around you. And think about it. And I bet he ain't using condoms. <laughs> and another thing you got to think about it, and you, you know, think what's... Well, he had no condoms in the <laughs> yeah. 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 And yeah. another thing about it, think about it. The reason why the NBA got in his ass, you playing against LeBron, AD, and your yeah. teammates is Russell Westbrook and James Harden. 
Four of the top ten players in the NBA that you taking a chance in infecting. And you Daniel House. And you Daniel House. You know what I'm saying? Another reason why he should have respected that was because a lot of the NBA players didn't want to go back to him. Yeah. They were actually protesting to go yeah. back. You should have kept that idea. So he basically said, fuck you to the whole, like, I NBA. mean, like, it's listen, my later. thing is this. My thing is this, right? Even though he, he, he's probably, he's not a high-level guy, so he's probably making documentary on so boom. The fact that you're <laughs> trying to jeopardize all these people's lives, this is a pandemic. This is not a joke, right? So you listen. My thing is this. Every man here loves pussy. Let's, let's keep it a space thing. Yeah. But you can, you got to sacrifice for three months, two, three months, because this is not just for you. When you get off that and you want to rock out and do you, get do you. Later, get but you. I ain't going to lie, bro. If I was in the bubble, all, it's like, damn, right I had a here. bad no, game. No, 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 but the crazy thing about it is, <laughs> in one week, when he did this thing, this I think at the end of that week is when you start to be able to have company. So yeah, you waited right. that long. Yeah. You was like three, four days away from me. You know what I'm saying? Right. He might have been no, building that, up that. No, he might have been working her for a minute, though. Yeah. He might have been working her for a minute. I didn't blame him, though, because she probably just, while she was doing this COVID test, she probably grabbed his meat or something. Like, like, <laughs> she could have let him off. If, if your COVID it's test will grab your meat, that's a porno, B. They go in your nose and they go in your mouth. Oh, so There's I no have, one. I have a solution for the prostate thing. Let women do it. And if they, they bust a nut, they not going to go. I think it. if you had a, but the thing about it is, prostate is usually a male doctor kind of thing. I don't think men will answer the, yeah, but I think men, men, men may not necessarily answer those kind of questions completely honest. Talking no, to a woman. most most gynecologists are men. No, are they not? let's say okay, let's say I'm so, a doctor. I don't, but now men gynecologists have to have a nurse with him at all times. Before it wasn't like that, but now they have to have. Look, let's say I come in, I'm your doctor, and I'm looking good. I'm a little lab deck, you know, and I go, hey, sir, I want to give you this exam. I know it's going to be a little uncomfortable, but I am going to stick one or two fingers in your butt. Right? You <laughs> now, like I want to warn you, there's a chance that I might make you bust crazy. No, no, and you got like, that? <laughs> and you're talking. I already have this as a doctor. Doing but this. if you're talking <laughs> spicy and you say you're going to make me bust crazy nuts, <laughs> I'm yeah. like, bring it on. I'm exactly. Like, like, I think they should. I'm looking at you like that. I'm in Ninja Turtles and you the shredder. <laughs> no matter how good you First are. First of all, I wouldn't do what? this. You know what I'm saying? No, I mean, like, I'm going to the I, think, I think the whole situation with dealing with somebody, especially through a pandemic, and then also, like, you, you, you know the consequences of that. that was, it was a selfish act. Yeah. It was a way. He and and that's why he's getting divorced. You right. So let me let me ask two two last questions, then we'll jump into the, our, our normal our show topic. So the next one is Maya Moore, who's a WNBA player. Yeah. Uh, she took off the, the last two years of her professional career to help get a man out of who was falsely accused to get in jail. Yeah. Come to find out that she met uh, she she met this guy. She met a, she knew found out about him through a pen She's pal program old, right? uh, while she was at UConn in college and stuff like that. So she sacrificed two years of trying to fight to get him free. She finally freed, and now she married that man. Okay. So it went um, from like a pen pal situation. She found his cause, and now she eventually married him. So you know, what do you think about that story? Um, I see, I see it happen every every day. Like you know, I I work in that kind of environment, yeah. so a lot of the times is. Especially something like that. that that's that's that, that that's. Why do the inmates get so much love out because here? Because the, the the problem, the thing is, because you ain't out here no, cheating no, like no, that, not, not allegedly. Even, not even, not even <laughs> they that. get they a lot, lot of love. Of time, they got eight to sixteen hours to evaluate you. You don't even have to have a conversation with inmate. He could tell you everything that's going on with you and why you mad, why you came in mad today. Because all they got through is nothing but time to study you. So mm -hmm. they observe you. Oh, like they know when you mad, when you happy, why you doing this, whatever too. So it's a lot of time. She met. She I, probably met this. She probably met this pen pal guy and seen that his, his, like he was telling the truth, and she really was dedicated to you know what? He's a really good person that was in the bad. I have some issues with this whole story. Yes, as a female. Yes, and I'm gonna I'm gonna tap in. Yes, right? yes, yes, tap because in. Because one, you don't stop your hustle for your man. Y'all supposed to be building together, right? Yeah. I I'm not mad at her following her heart for stopping your passion to help him. I have a. Big Hold on. How can you have an issue with that? She saved the man's life. She could have. Are you both. telling me her career is more important than saving the man's life? She didn't really know him like that. So she, yes. she established you a relationship with him. You didn't go him. to all these basketball teams wow. and go you gotta know He wasn't in the gym shooting with me. You wasn't in the gym shooting with me. You know what I mean? 
You gotta no, know somebody what, to what save I'm, their what life. I'm, what I'm gonna say this is though, is you don't stop she, your hustle. She was passionate nobody. about the story, and then she realized she truly loved that man, which 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 is a good thing, right? I don't know. So if why gonna, did she stop no, the no, hustle? No, no, no. She, she wanted makes, to she dedicate enough, herself she, more. She stopped the hustle and because she have an issue because she makes enough money. We have a we have an issue with prioritizing our significant others and losing ourselves in the process. That's why a lot of Say some of that energy because in the topics we're gonna talk about stuff ah, like that. I you're my what what I commend I commend is just think about it. Oh, think about it. It's just like yo, imagine putting your livelihood like you made it to the pinnacle of what your profession is and you took the time for. But another thing that made me on a more joking side is like, damn, how bad it is out here about finding good men that she sacrificed so much for the dude that becomes her husband. That's a real sacrifice. Think That's about that. That's why I can't understand. They got all these shows you watch on uh, 90 Day Fiance, not 90 Day Fiance, Love After love, Lock love Up. After yeah. Lock up. These people be dedicated to these inmates, and you got people out here who can't get them in. Yeah. Okay, so let me tell you why females are actually dedicated to guys that are locked up. And I'm sorry if I offend people, but I'm going to tell you what it is. Because they like the security of them being locked up, right? I know he's not gonna go nowhere, he ain't going to the club, he ain't going, well, he could cheat on you, but you're not, at least not with another female. You get what I'm saying? A lot to of me, females, that's worse! <laughs> but go ahead. No, but do you understand yeah, what Yeah, 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 yeah. Females like the too. security, and that's why when I the guys I know where he's at out, at all times. Yeah. When, I ain't got a call looking for him. Right. Well, when the guys that. come out, they're expecting, I did all this devotion, right? I, Loyalty. I answered every call, I did this, I put money on your book, and then the guys get out and they go, Oh, that's my Yo, it's poo-poo over here, ass over here, I don't know that. And yeah. then the women are feeling offended, but then they can't break from it because they're like, yo, I was with you in the trenches. Yeah, I was so, in. So, you know what? Oh, and a lot of the, listen, a lot of the time, I, a lot of the time that does happen, right? Because they like the security fact, and then the fact that they feel like they can control this person because yeah. for, you're not with them for financial gain, right? Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, the, the highest paid um, job in jail is $28 a week, and that's STA. Twenty dollars a week, so basically that's twenty dollars a month, right? But what I'm trying to tell you is, it's the security. What she's saying is 100 percent the yeah. security factor that boom. But you gotta say this man is doing whatever it takes so you can support him while he's in there. But she you think she think he she no. think he gonna be loyal for life once he leave but because of what she day, did no, for him. At the end of the day, right. a girl like a girl like Maya Moore, she's a beautiful young woman. She's she's a top five WMA. She was really passionate about the story. And she got to know him in the internet level. Yo, you filed for that. She, she, she got to know him in the internet level. And then I don't I think, have an issue with her fooling no, her. Yeah, so I have I an think issue so with her so stopping so. her passion. Like, look at Kim Kardashian. She helps the free people. She's still running businesses. She's still doing her beauty. Like, da, da, no, da, 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 I'm not saying I'm serving I'm, the community. No. Like, could it, could it be hold just on, real hold love, on, though? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You ever thought about that? Maybe This man's life was in danger. I don't care how much I love you. I'm not stopping my passion. Well, you, I'm gonna figure out how to do both. Nah, yeah. nah. Then nah, you ain't really love it. You ain't dedicated you, completely. She did it for the stuff. Hold bad, on. Man. She did it beforehand. And I'm one of the most loyal. It females, wasn't just the two year and thing. People sitting at the table that know that. And she I was doing it before. Yeah. She was Trust doing me, it for, for do years. Yeah. Yeah. And she said, yeah. no, yeah. these last two years, I gotta give more. I gotta give more to get him out. Yo, Mike, look, she did all that, stopped her career for two years. He come home, he gonna do her like house did his way. Nah. All that for nothing. Nah. I doubt that. I would like it to be a good story. That's not a doubt. So, another one, real quick. This is a more serious one. Brianna Taylor family settlement. They gave twelve million dollars. How do you feel about that? Hush money. Hush money. No, no, no. Please arrest the cops that kill yeah. Breonna Taylor, or at least bring yes. them in and do a, a valid investigation. You know, they, they, they boasted that number, and make for, they want us to shut up, like, oh, Man, they got $12 yeah, million dollars money, and stuff like that. Well, there's but no you amount of money that could replace a life. But you yeah. might and not definitely not no $12 million. No yeah. This helps the case, though. Them admitting by her getting her family getting a civil suit. I spoke to a cop. He said the chief for the chief for the settle. That's the only reason right. why. Okay, okay, but that, you, you are. Settle, that doesn't mean you admit. It doesn't mean you admit, but it definitely means there's a there. You see an issue. But they could have sealed. What it. they could have done is civil sealed. Court does not they, hold up in criminal yeah. courts. What are the, That's uh, criminal uh, courts. What are right? the odds right? of a victim winning against police? As of what we saw so far, so take the money. Like for instance, because you're I not going to get justice regardless. So OJ, the that's the sad part. Killed that white lady. He was found innocent, but in civil court, he was found 
guilty. guilty. That's yeah. why you can't. Mm, two different things. Let's let's bring it into criminal court. OJ's a clown because OJ gonna write a book. If I did kill Nicole, this is how I would have <laughs> done it. I, I, OJ's one of those. Some I, I think, Juice I is the goat, baby. He's the goat. I think the twelve million dollars is definitely hush money. It's hush money. But but at the end of the day, like like you said. But who are they hushing? Because well, everybody they, else, okay, but, but everybody knows better they know, than everybody. They know, in the court of public opinion, saying. you know how many people, how many people, ignorant people are going to be like, they gave her $12 million? Shit, she wasn't worth $12 million. Ignorant people will say ignorant. stuff like that. I just and then the energy, the shirt yesterday. There's people, yeah. there's people but energy is going to be there's lost. People that do, uh, there's people that do 40 years of jail, innocent. And they come home and they find out they would, they, they didn't do it, whatever, out of all the time. And they give them a million dollars. It was a guy that just came over. They just yeah, give them a million dollars. Like so the 12 million dollars don't justify anything because a murder is a murder. And it, also, it was an injust and, murder, and, and that is the real issue. That's yeah, the way they saw. Yeah. A murder is a murder, and regardless, it doesn't justify anything. But 12. The cops ain't going to get locked up they because, they put, they because the boyfriend out, shot back. The we boyfriend put, shot. Yeah. They put it out there like 12 million dollars. We gave a, a large amount. Due to the fact that she was killed. Like what you were thinking no, no, no. about the twelve million, like it says it proves they're wrong. They are no, I didn't say it proves that. I didn't say it. Yeah. I didn't that say it proves they're correct. wrong. It does look like no, you said it. I said it helps. Right. It helps yeah. that case. No, it does not It's so we, black people shut the fuck up. We've been is, having a good time. We're, we're running kind of short in time, so I want to start getting to the show. Yeah, the last, yeah. what's going on in the media, that's going to uh, flow into our show is Cardi Cardi being offset split mm. right now. Obviously, Cardi B just announced that her and Offset are splitting. She won the There's a lot of lot of rumors. She confirmed that it's technically he doesn't have that she knows of Again. any child, that any woman pregnant on the way, stuff like that. Now she said, as she know that 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 she knows of, right? Because you know Offset's a wild boy. But as this was announced, there was um, there's more information that comes out that Offset. Uh, signed certain deals where it's just like he's kind of been uh, taking money from Cardi B without Cardi B knowing as far as her music and stuff I like that. I didn't know that. Yeah, and, and she signed she signed side deals, right? Because remember, Cardi B was already an artist. He signed side deals or she, she signed but, side but, deals with her really managers true. and made her choose certain managers but, and stuff let, like that. Say. Sort of like Ike, skimming oh, off the top, like, skimming on, on the let's, back. Let's call it spade a spade, right? No, that's off, that's Offset's grin. He pimped his wife. That's Offset's yeah, grin. Yeah, yeah, I, I Offset was writing all them lyrics. No, but so, that's the thing. Hold on, hold on. Listen. Nah, nah, but so if you're not, you're not letting me finish. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Ca Ca yeah. Cardi yeah. B's writers yeah. for, for, for the stuff that she's really got a claim for, Offset was fighting that he don't want her working with those stuff like that. He wants him to be the exclusive writer. He started to become Ike. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Where it's just like, sing the song the way I want you to sing the song kind of thing. And, you know, now there's this saying that, you know, he's going to want to get money back, like how Ike was like, I made you kind of stuff like that. Because remember, Cardi B was rhyming before Offset. But yeah. when she started messing with Offset and that feature, that's when Bodak Yellow and all the other stuff started to come out kind of stuff Hottest like that. Hottest Joint still was the one that Partisan wrote for her. Yeah, yeah, Partisan yeah. is... Partisan is the real MVP in that situation. Can I just, she had two albums that dropped before she came out, like, big. Yeah. And I actually liked that. I used that stuff in my days. Her stuff was fire. I, I liked she it. Said, she skipped steps. When she got with Ozzy, she was like, I can do, I can move this fast. I don't think in my heart she wants to be a rapper. I think this is another hustle for her yeah. until the next day. Yo, know, my opinion mm -hmm. is I don't think they know each other. They didn't know each other long enough Rush. to get married. Yeah. And but that's, that's, my, that's a, they looking at in, the, in, 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 for some though. reason, in entertainment yeah, world, exactly. The courtship is always shorter than everything else. It's different. Watch, watch these stars. Married after six months, married after three months, also, married they, after they three dates, and stuff like Cardi that. Cardi was like 25, all set was like 27. Yeah. They had no business. Yeah. So this is what the this is what it comes into the topic of the show, right? So a lot of people, which is weird, we're in a weird space where we attack the women when the women are done wrong lately, like how. Um, uh, Meg Thee Stallion, people got are shot. clowning Meg Thee Stallion because she got shot. Now people are, are shaming Cardi B, right? Because Cardi, Cardi B had the line in her, her number one song in the country right now. I don't cook, I don't clean, but I show you how I got this ring. Yeah, that's And that's then now the she thing. calls for a divorce, and they're calling her, oh, she's a failure because she's getting divorced. Which leads to this topic. 
My relationship is not an accomplishment. I think we need to come into point in society that relationships are beautiful things that produce children and stuff like that, but it's not an accomplishment. Mm -hmm. If you out here single, you're not a failure because you're single. If mm -hmm. your marriage didn't work, it lacked communication, there was problems, stuff like that, but you didn't fail your marriage. Your marriage wasn't a test. Your marriage wasn't a job. Things yeah. don't happen. So we need to just discuss that as a panel. Law. We're going to mm -hmm. talk about that, too. So, my relationship is not accomplishment. The first question is, we have to stop treating married as being, ma being married in a relationship as accomplishment. How do you feel about that? Like, do you feel, because, Jasmine, you're a single woman, correct? I, like, you said your age earlier. I'm not going to repeat it. Some I'm 36. 36. I think I look good. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Be tired of that. Exactly. So, but I say that to say this. You're not married, and... But you're a business owner, you do the damn thing, and you affect so many people's lives. To me, you're, you're an accomplished person. But in the old way of thinking, some people were like, well, she's not married yet. Right. So, how do you feel about people using relationship status as an accomplishment? I'm not going to lie to you. I used to, uh, I used to be bothered by it because I was, I've been able to, like, on paper, I look like, I'm like, she got this. But it used to bother me that I really couldn't figure out the relationship aspect, right? But then I started thinking, like, let me look around. Yo, you got a husband or you got a man, you got all these kids, you got a you got baby mother drama, da ba 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 da ba 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 ba. Yo, I'm actually really waiting for the right person. I'm not looking, and that's the problem. Females and people in general are not okay with themselves. They are looking for yeah. other people to yeah. fill in the gaps and the holes mm -hmm. that they have not worked out for themselves. Some of that mm -hmm. is from childhood and some of them are from fucked up relationships. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And that's why when you get a relationship, you like, because it's filling in something that you didn't work on but yourself. My problem mm -hmm. is, and, 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 and this is my situation, <laughs> I think society puts a, a unfair pressure, especially on women, they right? Do. Because it's just like so many dope women are doing their thing, but they're not married, they don't have kids, and society put their nose down. That is whack. That's an old school way of thinking, right? Because a man could not have kids, be single, doing his thing, and people just but like, he's a playboy. Yeah. And then they, they make a woman in the same situation. <laughs> oh, she's an old maid. She's about to be brittle, like, for, you know, dry up and stuff like that. So I... Let me tell you something. So, some of the biggest haters are the person you're in a relationship with. Yeah. Especially when you're like an alpha female. You know, and that's the issue with Megan Stylin. That's the issue with Cardi B. Right? When you are an alpha female, it just means you're strong, right? Yeah. But it doesn't mean we don't go home and we don't have our sensitive moments and we don't cry. I'm yeah. very sensitive, right? Yeah. So then when they finally go through something that kind of shows that they're human, now they like, you. Pe instead of people going, damn, sis, yo, keep doing your grind. Don't let this affect you. They like, ha ha, you're not as strong as you thought, but why wouldn't you want me to still be strong? Yo, that's why. That, that's why. You're I see. You the sing you're a single a man on panel. Woman, and you intimidate I, I intimidate a lot of people. You intimidate a man. A but man you confident and strong. That's intimidation. We can't talk to you any way we want to. No, you can't. It's like a million <laughs> of them over there that we can talk and say what we want to, but we know we can't talk to you that way. It's intimidating. You probably have a lot of secret admirers and all that that don't even uh, approach you. Yeah, because a lot of times people see, like, my business facade or whatever. The owner. They don't even get a chance to know me. And then when people get to know me, they're like, yo, you cool as fuck. I'm yeah, like, they probably thought you. They're like, damn, she doing all this. What I got going on? I, I need to move it to a, a, another thing, right? You being a divorce person. Divorce, eh? Divorce, right? <laughs> Do you feel that you being a divorced man, <coughs> did you ever feel like you failed or it was, you were a failure because of that? Um, I never felt like I was a failure personally. Too confident for that, but I did feel like yes, I failed um, in my marriage because I made a promise before God mm -hmm. to do something, and I couldn't see it through. Mm -hmm. Right, so essentially, I failed. The goal was to have a successful marriage. I wasn't able to reach that goal. So I mean, yeah, you can call it a failure, but I feel like it wasn't meant for me as well. You know what I mean? Me and my ex-wife. We're cool as shit now. Timing. Timing but, is everything. But, but we weren't in the right space then. But I want to reach back on a point you said, why women seem to be getting attacked. I can't speak for every woman, and that's definitely wrong in the Meg Thee Stallion situation and other situations like that. But to speak to Cardi B's situation, well, her just coming out with WAP 
and it being one of the most popular songs there is. Number one song. Right? Number one song. Mm-hmm. And you say something like, I don't, I don't cook, cook, I don't clean. clean. Let me show you how I got this ring. Ma, you bragging real hard about that, right? But Hold on. You bragging real hard about that. So it was good. You got the ring, Texas. but that WAP wasn't good enough to keep the man. You see People what I'm saying? People before she got the ring. Well, so listen. WAP not going to change. You got to take that back with it. Yeah, she's divorcing him because it's not working. He's not divorcing her because she was good enough to All right, so Chris. Right now, go. You know what you started. That could be why he's cheating on her. Yeah. Yeah, you want, he want to have his cheating too. There's no reason to do it. Let's bring it in. Let's bring it in. Go ahead, Cliff. Society always, when you get to a certain age or, or, or you're accomplished, you're supposed to be with somebody. But like you said, being independent, I'm married and I'm still trying to figure it out. Right. Okay? Mm-hmm. Marriage is a day to day process. It's not, there's not one week I, I don't question. Look how his face changes. No, no, I'm saying. <laughs> I got real <laughs> serious. Like, I'm week, still trying to figure I'm it out. I'm still trying to figure it out. It's not one week where I don't question, like, damn, like, uh, like how's this going to get better? See, a lot of times people portray certain things. Mm-hmm. Don't get fooled by social media. It's a, uh, every every relationship got problems. Right. Then people is only going to show you what they want to show you. Mm-hmm. So th- this society does that to women. When women, when it doesn't work out, whatever, they blame it on the women. Like, oh, it's your fault, whatever. Too. All set have been, been scum since they've been dating each other. <laughs> yeah. I'll just call the straight straight. Then, then he posted the yeah. other day, man, I miss my grandma. Man, no. nigga ain't trying to hear that no. from me right now. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying <laughs> is, <laughs> what, what I'm saying <laughs> is, what I'm saying is, um, no. uh, the Migos, for example, anyway, just to say about the Austin Cardi B, they're going through a financial situation, whatever, with management or whatever, other shit, too. Offset looked at to see, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna eat off my wife and stuff. But he probably could have just asked her, and she probably would have no, just said yes. No, what I'm Marriage saying is, <laughs> you're, not, you're not supposed to be Marriage sneaky. You're, that's your they, partner, not one. You're not supposed to move you like relationship that. Relationship works when you keep it in-house and you deal with what you need to deal with. Yeah. When you start putting out to the public, when you start dealing to the public and, and the public determine what your relationship is going to be, you're never going to be happy. But it's his mess that brought it public. I, yeah. I think the worst thing that happened to relationships in the last 20 years is social media. Yeah. Because you got to live it's up to excuse. something. It's an excuse. Let me tell you what the main issue in this situation yeah. and with many, many married couples these days, right? Not everybody is meant to be married. Well, it, you know what I'm saying? Not everybody's meant to be married. Yeah. Not everybody's ready, and not everybody is meant to be. Because we, we, yeah, we or necessity. We, it's Let like me. I have to be married. Why? Why you gotta be married? We, we, we push. And to be honest with you, even even as a, a young person myself, you realize because you push to yourself like, yo, you like this person and stuff like that. What are you waiting for to get married? Start having kids and stuff like that. Like, yo. We don't feel each other out anymore. We don't realize, like, yo, this is someone. Look at the next one that's going to fail. Nick, Nikki, Nikki and this nigga that she with? Oh, yeah, that's going to fail. Nah, it might not. That's gonna, no, no, no. That's going to fail. They stay the way because he got the pedophile, the, um, pedophile situation fail. lingering. So it's going to fail. Did she try her best to keep it private? Because they trying to right now. So let me ask you this next question. Do, do we have to start making our intentions known <laughs> earlier into dating? Yes. Or should we still go with the flow? Because I feel like people's t- people... People give you two different advices. I That's actually, contradiction. I want to say yes to both people of those, t- actually. Yeah, people tell you, like, yo, oh, you got to know what's his intentions early and stuff like that. And then you hear the uh, same conversation. You know what? Don't rush it. Go with the flow. So what is it? I, I just had this conversation the other day with one of my homegirls. I'm going to let guys know. It's a couple of issues, right? Say what you want to do up front. If you just want to fuck, say that. If you how, how do you say that to a woman? On. Tell me. You just, I tell you, I hey, girl, you look I good. I had guys say, Actually, fuck you. Yo, <laughs> I want, I'm very sexually attracted to you. I want to have sex with you. Some guys are actually very poor with it, right? Yeah. But here's the issue. Let me tell you what problems come. Even when the guys are the super honest, yeah. this is where things go wrong. All right, I don't want nothing serious. Let's just have fun. But now you're treating, you're doing boyfriend like it. But so that makes me forget. Hold on. So as a female, I do that I'm like, well, he said, he said, she said. I ain't going to pull you up, but I get it. He said that he just want to have fun, but he called him the day. We going out. I'm meeting his family. But then we're now we're slowly forgetting nah, what cool. he said. And then when they pull a move that makes you remember.
remind him that he's single as fuck, we get mad. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Oh, me. Hey, don't 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 pay attention to what I'm doing. Pay attention to what I'm saying. Oh, you. Oh, that that's all like the Vikingism. Right, but honestly, and then the guys will say they'll throw in your face. I told you what it was. No, yo, I just let me say something real quick. I just read a meme yesterday that a girl posted. I've been dating this guy for seven months, and he asked me, why don't you have a boyfriend? Yeah, I said I went to him. That shit was funny as hell. We've been dating for seven oh, months, and he's no, like, yo, shorty, you fly. That? Why you don't got a man? That'd be crazy. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, let's but now, this down, so what Dave. you say, it's cool. He take them kids. I'm giving you the female you. perspective. Those, yeah, those are vibes. You can, like, you're a vibe, so you could come over. If I have a barbecue at my people's house, I'll bring you Reese, with my mom, do my friend, we vibing. Where it gets messed up in that is when they start. Oh, why he like your picture? Why he comment on your picture? Now that's when you give a mixed signal. Social signals. media aspect. Mm. That's when. Man, how's that mixed signals though? You get like. Why you're questioning why somebody's liking. Oh, your oh, picture oh, that's what you're saying. Oh, okay, comment. okay. Yeah, now, yeah, me yeah. thinking her, like, say me and her was dealing with each other like that. And it, we not in a relationship. But I take her to my mom's barbecue at my people's and introduce her, like, yo, this is my friend. Da-da. And we having a good time. We vibing. All we, we not in the, all we doing is doing that and hanging out. Yeah. Now, for me to go on her social media page and question why another man is saying anything to her is giving her mixed signals. Yeah. And this is what guys is doing. Guys are so jealous and not understanding how this thing works. Yeah. It goes back to the conversation we had earlier. That's why we, we, we scream <laughs> monogamy, <laughs> right? We scream how, man, I don't want to be tied down. I don't want monogamy. But, but something that have our interest, if it gets attention. Let me tell you. You let them know. You know what it is? A, mm. lot, a lot of times is this, right? Even if, if you decide to, you still belong to me. So that's why. This a lot of times, even if you decide you still belong to me. Let me No, no, I'm let me explain myself. A lot of times, a guy's like, hold on, like, okay, we not together, but you know, you still belong to me. So if you doing this and this and this, whatever, to boom, you messing up. It's a, it's, it's a weird contract. How can you be a side chick, but don't belong to the streets? Yeah, you, you don't belong ego, to the streets. Man, you don't belong to the streets. You can't listen. 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 You got to wait. You got to wait around. That, that's, <laughs> no, no, no. You got to listen. I'm not speaking. Yo, I'm saying. As the best it sound, that's how men that's think. That's how they think. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's like, listen. Listen. I'm still going to treat you. You're not my main chick, but you're still going to do certain activities. Gonna and, and we're going to do whatever. Cool. And I'm going to show you the level of respect. To a certain extent, but you, if I see you going outside of this little box that we got going, I'm not cool with that. That's a lot of times men take it personally, Damn, and sorry. that's 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 how the game. That's I'm gonna give you that respect. You are gonna give me that respect. I'm gonna speak to personally okay. what I do. Oh, right? I'm straightforward. And I let you know what it is, what I want or don't want, what we doing or what we not doing. Yeah. Right? Certain things you want to know, you got to ask the right questions. I, I might not tell yes. you. You might gotta yes. ask the right questions. But let me understand. Let me I, I kind of felt you boiling a little bit. Like yo, that's this stuff, is some that's stuff you talking about. Yeah. That stuff you talking about, I would never do like that. Okay. You well, know what I'm saying? A lot of men do 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 that. You might be like more mature or whatever the case may be. Chad, what did you just say? Because I wanted to. Ah, you said something I wanted to say to you. In what regards to what? What was you just saying? I was saying I t- I, I'm clear on what we are from jump. Okay, that's what I was gonna say. Men, here's the difference between men and women in the, today's society. You see how he's like, from jump, yo, I want this, that, and nothing else. Women do not assert themselves back. We will let the men yeah, I'm like, control okay. the dynamic. Yeah, so yeah I'm like, okay. Sure, right. We're just having fun. Yeah. We're just having fun. I might want a little something. Okay, you say you might want to have a little something. We don't say, listen, you can't. I did this, no lie. This guy said to me the other day, he said, yo, I want to smash the butt, right? And he was fine, too. And I was like, I, yo, I was being different. I was like, yo. I was like, yo. I I'm like, let him. So then I rebutted because he said it twice. And I said, I said that to you. I said, listen, I was like, you said, no, listen. You was fine, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I said to him, it was my rebuttal, though. I said, yo, you fine. But I was like, you got to take me out. That whole situation. So then cool. he said, Yo, it's a pandemic, da da da. I said, mm. Mm. I yo, said, if you want to come, that's where the conversation ends. <laughs> yo, that's so bold. <laughs> like, yo, come on, yo, like that, that, then when you get because to the, <laughs> you our society has got, we have gotten so 
down the, the, the rabbit hole of Netflix and chill. Hey, can I say you something? don't even take women they on dates no more. That's even crazy. like the main reason that is why crazy. women on dates was to fuck. And then you might just happen to like her and you keep taking her on dates. Yeah. Stop. Yo, yo, Let's be real. It, it's, 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 to this shit. Yo, we see, we see this. Yeah. Oh, no, it's going to yeah. be a lot more than Applebee's. Yeah. Go we see it. this meme. Take me to the playground. We're going to the playground. No. Have but a nice honestly, picnic. I'm a chemistry person. I actually physically can't sleep with someone that doesn't stimulate mm. my mind. Yes. So I want to go out and see if you could do that. Because if you cannot fuck my mind, you will not fuck my We going to the police. Mm. And my <laughs> thing is, <laughs> yo, <laughs> my thing is this, like, yo, we live in this culture of Netflix and chill and the memes of pussy shit only cost $40. That we've literally deteriorated courtship. I'm a two four People five. don't... <laughs> People don't yeah. court no more. You know what I'm saying? So l- let me ask this next question. Uh, and this is probably going to be the last question because, man, time has flown. And don't get it twisted. I grew into this person. Yeah. Should, should you look for your opposite or your complement? All right? Because they always say opposites to track. And then they, but also, is I feel like, you know, a lot of times we don't look for our complement. We just look for, like, damn, she got a fat ass or she's sexy. Or he makes a lot of money. We look for those kind of things, those superficial things. Should we look for our opposite or our compliment? Both. I like dating my opposite. Okay. Because. And why? I li- it, it brings balance. Yeah. Right? So I actually tend to date guys that are like, I like guys that are quiet, that have quiet power. Right? They don't have to be like, I'm like, ah. I like the guys that be like, when I'm like, yo, what is that? And they be like, dad. And I'll be like. I can't see a guy telling you shut up and you be quiet. No, but you got to be a chill alpha male. You can't be the one that's like, I'm the boss. Right. You got to be like. Chill out. Instead of saying shut up. Yo, you got to really believe it. It's only a few handful of guys that actually can do this. My ex wasn't one of them. The one you know. So that's why we would have the back and forth. Right? But the guys that I like, I like the guys that be like, hey, Jay, come you know what I'm saying? And I but it's really respectful. It's not it a down. disrespectful kind of way. So yeah, I got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So what do you think, Cliff? Should we could, should we date our opposite or our compliment? You definitely got to date your opposite. Nobody, you don't want to date your compliment because the relationship will be blunted. Also, you don't cause a lot you, of arguments. Sometimes you need something that the relationship where you're gonna have to work. So you like that, spiciness, no, is what no, you no. say? Spiciness to a certain extent, <laughs> right? And, and, and the sex is a lot better when it's spicy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I like to a certain, ex- duh. So, so a certain <laughs> extent, <laughs> you don't want you don't want somebody to just go on with everything you say, whatever, because then you're gonna get bored with that person. Sometimes you gotta be like, you know what? We ain't going there. Fuck it. We fuck that up. Yeah. You know what I'm so, saying? Like, so, you know, so, you so what do you think, Dave? Your opposite or your compliment? I like both. Yeah, yeah I want both actually. But at the same time, you can't have your cake to eat it too. You gotta choose one or the other. I say, I say, me personally, I say my compliment, because my compliment. If she compliments me, that means she's something like me. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we on the same I don't want to date me. Page. Yeah, but that's just not. It's not. Yeah, but we on the same page. It takes the conflict away. Like I do a lot of music. I don't really be around like that. I ain't got time to be spinning. If I'm out doing that, then I'm doing other things. If I'm around, if I got time, now I'm doing some music while I'm away. So if you understand that, so you do some type of entertainment. Yeah. That's why I gotta. The life. I gotta disagree with what you say, Cliff, because. Your, your compliment is not necessarily somebody that's just like you. It's that person that, uh, you know, helps what you do, takes it to another level. Another level. You know that's what I'm saying? What I'm say. So I'm always going to go my compliment because I love who I am. Mm-hmm. Somebody that's opposite of me, we not going to rock quite the same. They may not appreciate. Like, I'm going to say, and I don't want to say completely, but my ex-wife was my opposite. You know, and it might be part of the reason why we didn't work out as a couple. Well, we're person. great as friends, but but I know what I'm looking for, and I need I somebody who has some of the traits that I have. I have to co-sign what you're saying. You too, know what I'm right? saying? Because Not your compliment, right? It's like, you know, the things that you lack, they bring to the table. You come, like like to me, it's like that Jordan and Pippen. You know what I'm saying? You're wrong. Somebody got to be that right. shining <laughs> ball, and someone got to like cover up all your shit. That. To me, th- the reason why I. The opposite sounds cool. Opposites is always fun for that fun shit. The fighting, the argument, stuff like that. But when the opposite goes wrong, that shit is terrible, B. The opposite for me, I'm an ugly nigga. You so can't even the understand. The opposite for me is gorgeous. So I'm gorgeous. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, but the, the compliment, to me, the compliment is just like, yo, 
we don't necessarily we we're not always the same, but it's just like yo, you understand you understand my story and, and you speak this. to that. You know because what I'm saying? Look at the Cardi B offense. That's a compliment That's information, right? right? And it doesn't work. You Was it a compliment? It. Yes, because it's the, the way you're describing it is the same. You don't want someone I don't think you want someone you that compliment that. I think we need people who we are actually compatible <laughs> with. People like just because me and him can like all the same things, he can support me in my business. But are we compatible? I don't think At the end of the I day, don't think Offset was Cardi B's compliment. To be honest with you, no. But they you know that who was her compliment? Jay Z and Beyonce. No, the dude that was locked up when she was on Love no, Hip Hop. No, 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 no. Her, the, the dude she kept, she kept making very popular dudes kept making music with. He liked her, but she was just like he's from not Love Hip Hop. No, no, no. Not partisan. The big star, I can't think of his name. He looks, he looks mixed. He looks mixed. Oh, they made a lot of big songs her? together. Cardi? Not the, not the um, twenty-four karat gold dude. Oh, uh, Bruno. Bruno, Bruno Mars. Oh, they were together. No, no, Bruno wanted to holler, and she was just like, "Nah, you're not really my." I would like, like him for her. That would That's be her. Stupid. That would be her compliment. No, that would be, that would be her compliment. They, they don't understand each other. I don't see them understanding each other. Cardi, Cardi like all that racket stuff, but to be honest with you, Cardi wanted to be that monogamous relationship yeah. stuff. She's that got, family She's stuff. a Dominican chick before anything. Oh, yeah, so she's she a Dominican chick right before anything. Man, and that's Spanish why she's women, all that stuff women are different when like relationship. You don't know what she did. We can't say that. She doesn't cook. She doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I bet you she was trying. I bet you she was in the kitchen trying. Yeah, and she, she know how to cook, cook some stuff. Like she lied. Like yeah. that, cook, that cooking that's clean not literally. shit, that's the old school shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Listen, like, cook when cook we both on the grind, anymore. it's just like cooking and cleaning. It's like, yo, if wifey cook better than you, she cook. If you clean better than wifey, you clean. Yeah. That cooking clean shit is, is, is whatever. And when y'all both millionaires, ain't neither one of y'all doing it anyway. Open open at home, clean it. You got people for that. You know what I'm saying? We got people for that. might clean his table off. Pay somebody for that. Hey, it's not making you fucking lamb chops. She ain't got time for all that shit. <laughs> I'm saying she exactly. don't have to. Yeah, you I'm know what I'm saying? I'd rather you go make that doing. money, girl. I got a little bit of money and I'm not doing some shit I used to do. Exactly. All right, so that's the end of the show. We, we ran out of time, but it was really good. You guys were great guests. So I, I want yeah. I want you guys to go back and then, you know, like I said, let them know how they can find y'all, what y'all got going on, what's next. So go ahead. And that Farmer's Fan give, Project, give you us know a when quick it's dropping? 16. dropping. We put you on the spot. Give us a quick 16. Oh, yeah. You're a rapper. You got to yeah, get don't some do bars. Every, every, we had TL. We had all the rappers give us a quick Something 16. Something light. Yeah. Something light. Don't ask me to dance. Just leave me alone. No, no. You do. Just want to throw that out there. Acapella? Yeah. So, 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 Miss Jackson, let us, let us, <laughs> oh my God, let us know, you know, how they could get in contact about Epic, what y'all got going on, and, and well, um, we're on Facebook, Snap, TikTok, IG. Um, if you really want to get a good sense of who we are, just visit our IG. It's uh, at Do Epic Dance, spell it like regular, you know, D O E P I C D A N C E. Follow us, everything, and then next week, Saturday, we're actually doing our first live stream, Black Lives Matter show. Tune in. The kids actually came up with the idea, and we just have a fantastic crew. Back. Are you live streaming from the Facebook page? We're going to drop the link. Because okay. we had to figure out how to create our own source because of the copyright thing. We yeah. figured it out. Nice, nice. So anybody who does it after this, you copy it. <laughs> So mm-hmm. when you got the link, let me know so I can share it to people and, 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 and broadcast We're going to be releasing the link on all our social media like 30 minutes in. You'll okay. be able to watch on your tablet, your smart TV, your phone, your 
anything you can just get on the internet with, you'll be able to watch it. So y'all be waiting for that to drop and then get on that. Shout out to my epic dance babies. Yeah, yeah, that's why we need to keep the kids active. Oh, yeah, he doesn't see me that. And it's beautiful to have, you know, a, a woman in the community for these, these girls to aspire to. Not only are you teaching dancers and, and cultivating talent, there's going to be a, a future businesswoman that follows the Miss Jasmine's footsteps. And do that next thing that you're doing. Listen, one of the so main things I always tell people, I'm in the business of building strong black people. Yeah. That's what I do. Yeah. You know, so That's we good. don't just take your money and dance and throw you out. We care about we care about the kids as and a nurture. person. Right. Dance shows people a lot of things. Discipline, consistency, hard work, determination, all the stuff that can lead into other <laughs> ventures. So when people say, Oh, it's just a dance move, trust me, we get no, a lot no. of just the way you were telling me how you, you, you navigated these COVID streets and, and your, your, your insight on what's next and being intuitive and ingenuity and things of those nature, I'm telling you, man, you got to follow this woman's move. So I want to I wanna go off what she was just saying about um, our black women, right? Mm. So my shout outs is along those lines because I want to show support to a lot of um, black businesses run by females. Um, first, my cousin, Dose underscore by underscore Domo, D-O-M-O. She does hair for a living. She's a hairstylist. So if you need your do done, you need to follow her. Um, the next one is Scent, S-C-E-N-T, underscore from, underscore heaven, L-L-C. That's a good um, friend of mine, Nicole. She's selling um, fragrances. And I just got my order in of her candles um, and wax figures. I, like I don't even know. It's, nice. it's dope. It's all natural. It's, it's real dope. So look her up, and then um, last but not least, my girl Mary, she does um, pastries. So MJ um, Rose underscore creations. So please follow all of those women. They have different things to offer. They're you know strong black women trying to do their own thing. Entrepreneurs, um, support them whenever you can. Nice. What you got? What you got? You know, just shout out to everybody that's working hard. You know, we gotta support each other. I think at the end of the day, like. Everybody here, we grew up in the same community, same environment. We was even though we see each other since kids. We know each other since kids, actually. So it's just great to see people doing good things, positive things, especially through a pandemic. Mm -hmm. Keep working hard, and then you know, um, Juice and the friends talked about sharing and taking care of the, uh, taking care of the community, and also yeah. reaching out. So if you got somebody that's doing something positive or whatever, or something that's yeah, venturing, true. spread the news, spread the word, contact me. Um, that's, that's what brought Bernard. We'll talk more on Open Show Poppy, and then we will get them on here and to, to, to uh, promote their yeah. business. That's what we're about. And, and, and like I said, I think the, the, the beautiful thing that keeps me going with us doing the platform and doing the shows and stuff like that is having conversations with people, letting people know what's going on, and at the same time, like, yo, being that voice to remind people, like, yo, we out here trying to make things happen. We're trying to build. We're trying to help other people build. And that, that's, that's the only way it's going to be better for us, right? We can't sit around and wait for people to be like, oh, I like you. I'm going to make you a star. We got to grind work. We got to hit the ground. We got to network. We got to repost each other's each other, stuff. Man, we got to share definitely. each other's stuff. Like, yo, I go, me and Cliff, we go out of our way to support people. Mike, too. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? It's just like, you know, even when it's not convenient, like, yo, we support each other, right? Because that's the only way we're going to get to the top. We not we can't wait for outside people to be like, oh, I think you a star, I'm gonna make you a star. You gotta push, you gotta grind. You know what I'm saying? Especially when we want to consider how Black Lives Matter and all these things of that nature. This is the year of not taking shit anymore, not settling for what the status quo was. We could have easily said, you know, after George Floyd or oh, another black man got killed and just been pissing, it's like, nah. People took to the streets and burned shit down. You know what I'm saying? And that's why every time these new things happen. Unfortunate things will happen, but we're not taking that shit lying down. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's why we got to go out and vote, make our voice be heard. And yeah. then we got to do things after we vote. We got to continue to build up ourselves, build up our businesses, support our businesses. Because, like, yo, they want us to go away. That's why the hush money with the $12 million. They want us to be satisfied with something. Here, let's throw them a bone and shut up. No, we got to be like, yo, that's not good enough. No matter what it is, to continue to bring that to the forefront. 
And we out. Peace. Views from the friend zone. Views. Yeah.